Welcome to this brand new Belly Dance for Intermediates course with me, Lindsay Marie Silver, here at Little Egypt Studio in Scotland. In this course, I cannot wait to share with you one of the most gorgeous dance pieces. It's going to be a real celebration of femininity and what it is to be a woman. We're going to be working with the masculine and the feminine energies that exist within all of us, whether you embody um, um, a man or a woman, you're going to feel absolutely empowered in all aspects of your energetics. We're going to be working with classical Saidi. We're also going to be working with your own improvisational talents, building on those, building your confidence and your creativity and expression. But at the same time as that, we're also going to have a little look into the world of dancing with veils. So without further ado, let's dive in. Here's week one. So we're gonna start off with a gorgeous warm up. I'm gonna get all of your muscles warmed and soothed flowing and fluid movements. So we can start off with perhaps a figure of eight or a slide of the hip. And as you do that, I want you to bring some focus and awareness towards the alignment of your body are you in your basic stance? Bring your focus and your awareness towards now also your breath. Are you breathing with the fullness, with the capacity of your lungs? Perhaps you could try really expand through your belly with the breath and then your rib cage let's now try reverse that figure of eight draw the hip back and forwards bring it slide it back on diagonal twist forwards keep the knees soft and relaxed Beautiful. And those movements really flowing now. As you tune into your body on a deeper level, perhaps you've had a busy day, maybe been all up in your mind. And now an opportunity to really sink down into body, perhaps making those figures of eight smaller now. Perhaps reverse again in the original direction. And now let's focus on breathing life into our fingertips. Perhaps bringing small circles to the wrists. Beginning to roll the shoulders. And the shoulders come forwards and up, back and down, one side and then the other. And 
now whilst dancing, I want to just uh, tune in to a sacred feminine energy. that we all have, whether embodying the masculine or the feminine in our physical form, we all have that sacred feminine energy within us. And I'd like you to ask yourself, what does that represent to you? If you could draw that sacred feminine energy, perhaps the essence of a woman, what would that look like? So staying with that thought for now, here's a little bit of an activity that you can go on and do in your own time. So call it homework if you like. Um, but this is a different kind of homework. This is a kind of homework that really connects you to your inner self. I want us to think about in your life's journey to this point, what are some of the real highlights for you? And maybe you could jot those down. Maybe you could draw them. Extra points if you can dance them. Just in your own time. Just in a few pinched moments here and there. And so dancing, drawing, or writing down some of those highlights of your life to this point. And then what I want you to do is also, because there is no light without darkness, let's also take a moment to give reverential thought to moments in your life that have been challenging and I'll get you just to write those down, draw them, or maybe you could dance them. Maybe this could be like your own movement medicine. Perhaps you'll find it quite healing. I know I certainly have. And so when you have that down, that feeling, that very visceral kind of essence of the light and the dark in your experiences. And the understanding that that is from where we move. It's from there that we move. It's that that infuses and informs every single movement that we make in every single aspect of our life in every moment of our day or night. <laughs> and we're going to use that essence that is uniquely yours. And we're going to dance with that, each of us, individually, but also collectively. See, the thing is, belly dance is, well, it's interesting, beautiful, sexy, fun. It's all of that to watch, isn't it? Some people think that it's shaking your bum and shaking your boobs. But there is so much more to belly dance. And the history of belly dance is so colorful. And it's the stories 
This dance comes from the stories of women. It comes from our journeys individually and collectively. And so what we're going to do in this term is one of the most beautiful things that we could do with this art form. And that's to illustrate your story, our story, as a sisterhood, as a global community. And it's a journey quite special and something that I'm pretty sure you're going to love. So that's a little bit of homework to do in your own time. If you would do that, I'd be ever so grateful. And what it's going to do is just ensure that you get absolutely every single moment of delicious, juicy, goddess, feminine power and energy out of this course. Wow. So with that in mind, let's move on. What we're going to do now is really tune in and tap in to some of that essence. So we're going to start off working with a piece of music, which, give me one second, just whilst I find it. So this is like really, really staccato. It's, the rhythm is like intoxicating. So we're going to just use this piece just to free up and have lots of fun with that. Perhaps you could illustrate the rhythm. Maybe it's a doom tack, doom doom tack, tacka doom tack, doom doom tack, tacka, or something similar for you. Um, we're going to dance it out, and then I'm going to show you a little bit of a combination. Here we go. enjoy improvising first of all and then I'm going to lead you in a little bit of a combination that we're going to use in this piece. Center into alignment throughout your whole body. First of all, let's just have a little bit of fun with some basic shimmy. And bend through your knee. Use that to lower the hip. A little bit faster. Into choo choo. other and the other movement we're going to use is a tuck and a tilt so you're going to tuck through tummy and tilt forward tuck tilt tuck tilt tuck tilt tuck tilt tuck tilt tuck tilt 
Ta. Still. So we're gonna tuck. Drop through your hip, tilt. Drop through the other hip, tuck. Drop, tilt, drop. Tuck, drop. Tilt, drop. Tuck, drop, 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 tilt, drop. Wow. that we're going to be using in this piece, the cattle combinations. Now this piece, the music I'm going to play for you just in a moment, we're going to improvise to the track that we're going to be working with. Um, it's absolutely stunning and it's a very, very strong masculine and feminine balancing within the piece. I'll talk to you more about that in the next session and we're also going to work on the musicality of it and really break it down for you so you know what you're working with and you can help it, it can really really help you to um determine what's coming up next in the music and in the piece as a result so two of the combinations that we're going to be using one of them quite near the beginning of the piece is going to utilize this tuck and tilt of the hips but also a drop of the hip on one side drop of the hip on the other so i want to just rather than go all in on the combination specifically right now what I just want to do is um, make sure that you know the movements that we're using and we're going to place them into the specific combination later on so in your basic stance what we're going to do here is let's have a look at this drop of the hip first so what you're doing is you're in your neutral you're going to drop through one knee and as you drop through one knee you're going to bend through that knee and the hip is going to release boom now, what we're doing here in this piece, when you hear it in a moment, what we're actually going to be doing is really punctuating with a full stop if you're in the UK or a period if you're in the US. I'm not sure what that's referred to anywhere in the, else in the world. Anyway, so <laughs> we're going to be putting a full stop on that sentence. You're going to use that boom like that. So one of the ways that we can really make our movement punchy and sharp and powerful is by contracting another opposing muscle. So as we drop through the hip here, what I want you to do is to squeeze through your glute on the opposing side. So you've got your movement on the right hand side of your body and the left hand side of your body, squeeze through your glute. So you're going to drop and squeeze. So it's right down at the very end of that movement pattern. Squeeze through your glute. Yeah, let's try that. Whoa, almost fell over. <laughs> we're going to squeeze through our glute. Yep, we're going to squeeze. Let's try that on the other side. So you're going to drop out your hip on the right side. We're going to squeeze on the other side. Let's do that again. We're going to squeeze. Here we go. You're going to drop and squeeze. Back to center. Squeeze. Back to center. Squeeze. Center boom or doom as the case might be let's try that one side and then the other are you ready right side ready and doom tack tack 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 doom good all good Yes, amazing. Okay, so on the next set of movements that we're gonna do, the tuck and the tilt, let me just break down for you exactly what's happening muscularly and how we can really refine that. So let's first of all look at the tuck of your tummy. Now, this could be referred to as a tummy tuck or it could be referred to as a belly throw up. Now, I don't mean like uh, throw up. I mean like throwing your belly up into the air. 
So that can really help um, with a visualization. Oh, Godesh Lakshmi is with us. So, <laughs> so we're here. And what we're going to do is we're going to tilt through the pelvis. So you're tilt through your hips. So if your pelvis is here in neutral, you're going to tilt through your pelvis. Yeah? And at the same time as that, what you're going to do is draw your belly button up and back. Boom. Imagine that you've got a ribbon attached to your belly button and you're going to pull on that ribbon here. Ooh, like that. And out. Ooh, like that. At the same time as tilt through your pelvis and back and tilt through your pelvis and back. Amazing. Okay, so as you do that, you could also visualize throwing your belly up into the air and release it back down again. And throw your belly up into the air and release it back down again. Now, as you do that movement, in order to make that a big movement and a refined movement, you want to have a nice big bend through your knees. With that big bend through your knees, you can boom, make a huge movement without compromising that knee joint. The movement can be much bigger and it looks more powerful, but you're not locking out your knees. You keep keeping them soft. The other thing that you can do to help assist with this movement, if you feel tense through your hip flexors at the front of your hip, I'd maybe say, miss this one out and just focus on your pelvic floor muscles and the belly. But if you'd like more power and you don't feel tense through the front of your hips, then you could give a little bit of a squeeze of your thighs as you do this. So you can squeeze through your thighs and release. And squeeze and release. And squeeze through your thighs and release. Squeeze through your thighs and release. Now, hopefully you'll notice um, if you're going in for that option that that just somehow gives you more oomph in the movement, doesn't it? Boom, like that. Only do that, of course, when you have a really big bend through your knee. Boom, like that. Okay, so it's really sharp, strong, powerful. That's like the staccato movement. That's what you might refer to as quite a masculine energy movement in comparison to something like this, which is soft and fluid and feminine. That's relevant in a moment. So then the other movement is the tilt. You're going to throw that back and then come back into center and you're going to tilt and throw it back into center. Now here, I'm not going to give you too many pointers on this. The only thing that I'm going to say to you is actually a safety consideration because health and safety should always come first in your dancing, shouldn't it? We don't want to hurt ourselves. So as you do that, I want you just to be aware that most of us do stand with a pelvic tilt anyway. Most of us have this element of hyperextension through our back anyway. So I want you just to be aware of that and just maybe only make that movement a little bitty smaller. Just be mindful of it. And you can actually fake a throw back like that of your hips by releasing through your belly instead. So if you feel like, oh, that's not going to be good for my back, what you can do instead of that is because you've gone, whoo, and your muscles are all short and strong in here and they're, they're tight through here, you can literally, in the reverse motion, release that. I didn't do very much through my back here, but what I did was I released all those muscles and I threw my belly down to the ground. So you're lifting your belly up to the sky and throw it down to the ground. Lift it up to the sky, release it down to the ground. So that's one way that you can create that movement or expand on the depth of that movement and make it, woo, it appears huge. Literally just by releasing those muscles. And back in, and release. And back in. Amazing. So this that we just done forms the basis for probably the trickiest combination in this entire dance piece. Um, you're already halfway there through that already. So what is this dance piece? So let's dive right in with that in a second. First of all, I want to just move on and look at this combination here. So this combination is going to form the framework, the masculine energy framework from which the feminine fluidity and floaty energy is going to sit within. Okay, so we're here 
Now, if you were with us for the last course, the previous course, we looked at Saidi rhythm, doom tack, doom doom tack, doom tack, doom doom tack. Double doom is in the center, and we worked lightly with a combination. This is the combination that we're going to use in this piece. So we're here, we're going to work with the right hip first, and we're going to drop the hip down, drop, and then you're going to lift all the way up to the sky, lift, and then you've got the double doom in the center where you're going to drop your hip down halfway through your range of motion. And then on the second doom, you're going to drop your hip down all the way through your range of motion. So you can't go any further down. You're right down to the bottom of your range of motion. Make sure you're still in neutral. Then you're going to complete that doom tack, doom, doom, with tack coming all the way up to the sky. Tack. Yeah, so let me show you that a little bit faster. We ready for that? Here we go. Ready, and we've got doom, tack, doom, doom, tack. Drop, lift, drop, drop, lift. Drop, lift, drop, drop, lift. Drop, lift, drop, drop, lift. Let's take that onto the other side, just so we're nicely balanced up. Here we go, on the other side, bend through your knee, make sure you're in your neutral positioning, and drop, lift, drop, drop, lift. 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 Now, just as we did a moment ago with that individual drop of the hip on one side and on the other, we squeeze the opposing glute. I want you to do exactly the same if that feels good for you to maximize on the power and the strength of that movement. So we're gonna boom and lift, doom. Yeah, so it's gonna be drop, lift, Drop, drop, lift. Drop, lift, drop, drop, lift. There are moments within this piece of music where it's really, really strong. Super masculine energy, super strong. And so, because the femininity loves that, doesn't it? There, there is no light without dark, and there is no, you know. So, um, so if you can feel the intricacy and the gradient between and the difference between the two, if you're able to dance both equally, um, all the better. Okay, so that is a combination we're going to be using in this piece. It forms the framework, the masculine energy. That alongside, we're also going to be utilizing those movements that we did a moment ago. I'm now going to pop on for you the piece of music that we're going to be dancing to. It is probably still one of my favorite pieces to dance to for capturing, to my mind, what it is to be a woman. There are so many layers to this piece of music. And in the next session, we're going to dive in and have a little bit of a focus on the musicality aspect. Um, theoretically and also physically. So here we go, let me play this for you. And what we're gonna do is I'll just get you to use some of those techniques that if you were with us in the last uh, course, we're gonna utilize some of those techniques of improvisation. So if this piece of music had a color or colors for you, what would those be? If it had a texture, what would it feel like? In your fingers, on your skin, underfoot. Um, if it had a flavor, what would, it, what would it taste like? If it had a smell, what would it smell like? Are there any images come forward for you? Why don't you just to really try and get within this music using all of your senses? Uh, okay, because the art of belly dance is so much about making visual that which is not visual. So here we go. And as soon as you hear this beginning to play, you can um, begin to move with it. There is no right or wrong answer at this stage, just Tuning in to what feels right for you.
Wow. How did that feel? It looked absolutely amazing. Those ladies joining us live in our Patreon class. Wow. And everybody joining us on YouTube when this is uploaded. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed that. So your homework per se, tune in to those experiences in your life that have brought you so much light and so much dark. Note those down, you could draw them. Even better, 
Get inside your body and dance them. It's very healing, but it's going to really, really infuse this piece. Think about what it is to be a woman if you embody a woman. Think about the masculine and feminine energy that's within all of us. Let's come into center in a jaw, a nice releasing stretch. We can bend through our knees and we're going to come down towards the ground. We're going to walk our hands round towards one side, loosen up through long muscles of back, your hips, try to keep the hips facing forwards, relax your neck, come back into centre, take it across towards the other side. Into centre, into centre, let's begin to unwind all the way through. And you can repeat that stretch if you feel to. Let's bring the feet in together, the hands up to the sky, lengthen out and release that down, bend through your knees and relax your, your neck, your shoulders, your back. Deep breath in. Ah, release that out. Let's do one more. Deep breath in. And release. Ah. And gently coming back into center. The other thing that we're going to look at in the next session is the musicality of that gorgeous piece called Yearning. Thank you so much for being here, for sharing your energy, your beauty, and your fun. Woo! <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like, Subscribe and hit notifications so you can be informed of when the next video goes up. If you'd like to support the creation of these videos, remember you can head along to patreon.com forward slash Little Egypt Studio where you'll find a community of other enjoyers of these videos. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.